Today's game is being played in Newsom Stadium, home of the Nashville Lycans. A lot of great music clubs in Nashville, Bricks. Yeah, I went to a country star Darth Crooks' place last night. It was like half dead. It was only 9 o'clock. It's a zombie joint, you idiot. Of course it was half dead. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Up, up! Uh-huh, it's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Third and four. ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, nah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Second down and nine. Nice pick up for six yards. Third down and three. Shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. 
He's a midnight smoker. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And like every one of my barbecues, this defense holds him to a four-yard pick up there. He's on fire! Third down and six. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside to the ten. You know, in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. First and ten. And the defense gives them five yards there. Second down and five. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh... <clears throat> The defender says, it's mine, and he comes away with the pick. Oh, man, Brooks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. And he's up. Now the offense is, oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Manji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, oh, this is 
is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this open. And it's first and ten. Huh? Huh? says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Okay. 
and it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. First and ten. Second down and long. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit pal. And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and ten. When defensive players go berserk, and he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Oh, nice hit! And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he just wrestles away from that. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who... Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. Well, the offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Glenn. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hot eight. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face.
Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Nestro Lichens were neutered today in a devastating loss by forfeit. Yeah, what's left of them is walking on the field with their tails between their legs. And that guy's carrying his tail. Oh, it got ripped off. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...